Hey everybody, it's PMOC at 86 Drive, Tech Edition. So, as you know, I got my Build Redux PC not too long ago, and I've been spending the last few days setting things up. Now, I got quite a few comments and questions on my last video about the Build Redux PC and how to set it up, so I thought I would do another video to answer some of those questions. All right, so the question some of you have asked me is, is it possible to, or how do you change the lighting inside of the PC case? Because when it comes out of the box, all the lights seem to be a little bit mismatched. As I showed in a previous video on my Build Redux PC, the case fans are controlled by a remote. However, there are a few other RGB components inside the case that aren't controlled by the remote, and I had to find other software to control them. Specifically, I have a Cooler Master AIO with two fans, and these need to be controlled separately. It seems Redux wired these to the motherboard, which can then be controlled by software. Since I have an ASUS motherboard, I turned to ASUS Aura Sync, which is a program made for ASUS motherboards. But I think it can work with other motherboards too. When my Redux PC arrived, the AIO and fans were set to a purple color. After I set the case fans to all white using the remote, I wanted to see if I could use the Aura software to set the AIO to match. So you go into the Aura program, and you can see right here the settings for the RGB lighting. So you can see the color was set to a shade of purple, but what I would like to do is change the lighting to all white. So I'm going to bump up all the values for red, green, and blue all the way up to 255, and hit apply. And that gives me white RGB lighting for the AIO and the cooler fans. So that's how you can adjust the colors. You can set it to any RGB value that you want. Now, while I'm in here, I wanted to show you there are many different other lighting effects that are available. But one of the really cool ones that I found was under the smart setting. And what this can do is using the RGB lights that the motherboard can control, which in this case would be the AIO and the cooler fans, you can actually use the lighting to indicate the temperature of the CPU core. And you can basically set this up to be kind of a warning system for you if your CPU is starting to get too hot. And what I've got set up here is that under 60 degrees Celsius, the lights will be green. Then as the CPU warms up, as you approach 60 degrees and beyond, the lighting will turn yellow. And then at the highest level, if the CPU core goes over 75 degrees Celsius, then the colors will change to red. So this is a really useful feature to have, I think, so that you can keep an eye on temperatures inside your PC, and it kind of gives you an early warning if anything is going wrong. Okay, the other component inside the computer was the EVGA graphics card, and that has an RGB logo that lights up, and I wanted to see if I could change that to match the white coloring for the rest of the case as well. So I installed the EVGA Precision X1 software, and that gives me the ability to control all aspects of the GPU, including overclocking functions. But I'm not going to mess with that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the LED tab. And what you can see here is that the RGB lighting was set to a rainbow mode. But what I would like to do is change it to just one static color. So I'm going to change it over to static on, and it's set to purple right now, but I'll go ahead and 
change that. Click somewhere in the center here, try to get a white color. Oh, there are presets, so I'll just choose the white preset. That sets R, G, and B back to 255. Perfect. And that takes care of the GPU. So now I've got matching all white lights throughout the case. One other cool feature I did notice here in the EVGA software, though, is that similar to the AuraSync software, there is a temperature function that you can use the lighting on the EVGA logo and, again, use it as a warning system based on the temperatures of the GPU. At lower temperatures, such as below 20 degrees, the lighting will stay white at 60 degrees Celsius, the colors will change to yellow, and then the red light comes on when you reach higher temperatures above 75 degrees Celsius. So again, you can use these lights as a warning system in case things are getting too hot. So that is how you adjust the color on your Build Redux PC, or at least that's how I did it on mine. I hope it was helpful. Well. That's all I have for you this time. Thank you as always for watching. Please like and subscribe. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care.